Welcome back. All right, uh, it you know, it used to be back in the day, back when the channel was first starting up, I would regularly do like channel updates. I haven't done one in a long time. And it's because, you know, uh, things have been going pretty well. The rhythm's going pretty well on the channel. And I've got a good system set up. But I do think it does need a revamp, a little bit of a refresh. Nothing major, nothing dramatic, but definitely a refresh. So I did a video for members and patrons of the channel. Uh, and there was pretty much universal agreement that these are changes that they, they'd like to see. And it's going to be, really it's a setup where I, I just need to hold myself to a bit of a schedule. It's something Yvonne and I have talked about as far back as 2017. 2017, 2018, we were talking about a schedule. And I don't have a script. I've never had a script. I will never have a script. I usually when I get up in the morning, I'm like, alright, well I know I'm doing a preview video. I'm going to do a news video and then we'll see. And I may not know what team I'm going to talk about, what player I'm going to talk about, what the topics are going to be, which is fine. I think that's fine. I think the channel has done really well and the channel continues to grow and that's the important thing. But I do think there's potential and I do think there's other things that I can do. And so I plan to next season bring in some changes, uh, which I've reflected via the, the board. And these numbers are here for a reason too. So I do want to revamp the reviews a bit um, when, when it's hectic and it's a 13-game night. Um, I, I think there's some important ways that I could change it, and I'm, I'm looking at making the change. First off, uh, when I do the reviews, I can talk about whether this is a game I feel is a positive, a negative, or, or indifferent to a team's power ranking spot. The one thing with that is there could be an instance where, say, a team has three games where I go, yeah, they're about the same spot, that it doesn't really affect their power ranking. And then on Saturday, they've dropped a couple of spots because teams passed them. That's the one thing where it could be a bit of an issue. But I do want to get into that, and I do want to talk about it. Um, so I've brought in the Tony the Tiger magnet for the shutouts, of course. I've brought in the 80s magnet for games that are 10 goals or more. I've got the No Mercy magnet if the goal difference between the winning and losing team is five goals or more. I'm bringing in the... Uh, the Dalek Magnet, for people who are fans of Doctor Who, for if it's a shutout and a No Mercy at the same time. So if it's 5 nothing, 6 nothing, 7 nothing, that's an extermination as far as I'm concerned, not just a No Mercy. Um, and then, I mean, I could have, like, like Mortal Kombat would kind of work for that as, that as well, with Finish Him, Flawless Victory, right? That kind of thing. I've also got uh, Magnets I'm making up for Titanic. Uh, basically, like little cartoonish images of the Titanic hitting an iceberg. I, I do look forward to having a way to do that uh, and, and, and get that into the reviews as well. I've been trying to have more fun with them and insert something that's a little different. At the same time, the notes ended up getting into my reviews because I would have people saying, well, you didn't actually watch the game if you thought. So people always say, well, I, I want more of your opinion. I used to do it that way. I used to give my And then people would say, well, if your opinion is this team didn't play well, you didn't actually watch the game. So I started taking notes to say this, you know, as my way of saying I did watch the game because I saw this and this and this happened. So I, I do feel like the the notes will stay on reviews where it's eight games or less, and I, I may take it based on how the day goes. Like maybe you've got a 12-game night where it's all spread out, so I don't need to necessarily condense my notes. But if there's eight games starting at 4 o'clock my time, and then two more starting at five, and there's days that happens, it can get really, really hectic to keep up. So I would probably track the goals, who takes the penalties, what penalties they get, and, and go into it from there, and then some other things as well. And just just try to, I don't know, make it a little bit easier on, on my side. And it, it would not make the reviews shorter necessarily, but it, it would probably make it a little better. And then if people really like that other format, I could just make that my format for uh, for other nights too, where it's a little bit quieter of a night in the National Hockey League. Uh, this summer, because I do get the question from people who are newer subscribers, what does he do during the summer? I, I still make videos every day, or I pre-record videos for while I'm on vacation. Um, and again, this year vacation is probably going to be the second week of August. But historical content, I like to get into the historical content. Um, I became aware too, like this week, I'm like, you know what, I need to do more of that. I really enjoy the historical videos, so don't be surprised if the occasional historical video gets into the rotation, as we, especially once we get into the playoffs. Um, and then, of course, redrafts, other things like that. Um, I do a power rankings once during the summer. That's usually around first week of August, I'll do a power rankings. 
just to discuss where I think th think teams are since the Stanley Cup has been awarded and with all the free agents are usually signed. The big free agents are usually signed by August the 1st. Um, one thing I'm toying around with, and we'll see how it would work, is a Patreon Discord power rankings. This would be once a month, where people who are on the Patreon Discord, not the regular Discord, the one for, again, patrons members, um, if I did this on the regular Discord, it would be chaos. It would be absolute sheer and complete chaos. So, because there'd just be so many people that might end up in there. So, again, uh, this is something that Yvonne and I will have to sit down and discuss and how this would work and when. But it would probably come out on the Monday. So, we will talk about that. News videos, unaffected. The news, news of the day is fine as it is. Um, it, it really is about trying to... Uh, maximize what I think is areas on this channel where I, I haven't necessarily uh, been able to, to keep the views steady, where I see this this drop in views on Saturdays, and I'm like, okay, there are certain days where there's drops. I should be able to even it out, where every day I'm getting roughly the same amount of views. So Monday's the day I'm tagging as a new type of power rankings I want to do starting next year. It's It's tough, though. It's tough, I'm, and it does mean I'm still going to be watching just as much hockey. This setup doesn't mean I'm going to be you know, out of here and forget it. I'm not doing it the way I've been doing it. But player power rankings, forwards, defensemen, goaltenders. So one week I might power rank, say, the top 10 goalies in the league. The next week it might be top 10, top 20 defensemen, and then maybe top 20 forwards, and then back to goalies the next week. Or that fourth week could be where we get a Patreon Discord power rankings, where I say, here's what the channel, what people who are members and patrons of the channel think are the best 32 teams from 32 through 1. And so that could be kind of fun. Uh, you'll also notice in purple here, I've got the preview, not every day. One thing that I have I think could, could benefit is a preview video every second day. So I would do a Monday, Tuesday preview, a Wednesday, Thursday preview, and then Friday, I could preview Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that'd be three days worth of previews because Saturday and Sunday are usually really packed days anyways for me. And so previewing Friday through Sunday, I think that would drive up the view counts a bit on the preview videos and it would free me up so I could do other video content for Saturday, for Sunday that would post while, you know, we've got those all day hockey um, barrages that I can go through on Saturday and Sunday, especially once football season's done, right? So in orange here as well, I've got like on Tuesdays, I could do an AHL video. And I, I was doing AHL videos once a week at one point, And I got out of that habit. So it's something that if I have it on the schedule, I can do that. Uh, and then, you know, for the AHL video, I'd look at league leaders, the standings, and where everybody is in the playoff race. Uh, and then on Thursdays, I could do a PWHL video once their season has started. Uh, Thursday works for me because it's before the weekend. PWHL games, I, I think once they're... They're, they've really got their schedule all figured out and they're they're at least a couple years in. They're probably going to have their games on the weekends. That's when you're going to make your most money, right? That's why the NHL condenses it the way they do into weekends. So doing it on Thursdays would be before that weekend gets started. Uh, and then there's the potential too that on Sundays, if it's not a busy day, I could do, you know, looks at maybe KHL or something. But again, I don't want to, I don't want to get too far into, into covering all the other leagues and feel like I'm, I'm, uh, wearing myself too thin. I did that in the past where I felt like I'm I'm kind of, you know, stretching myself a little bit too thin here. So the remaining NHL schedule on Monday, uh, the, the games are there's two, there's eight, there's two, there's eight. Um, the eight is because as we get into April, the schedule's really kind of, it's odd in, in April. Uh, Tuesdays are busy, uh, 12 games, eight games, 13 games, eight games. So again, on those days, I'm not as worried about having what I would consider to be an anchor video. So power rankings on Saturday have to stay on Saturday. I've seen people say, why don't you do them on Mondays? Monday is a common day <clears throat> common day, sorry, for power rankings. And I feel like Saturday works because people watch them on Sunday. I never have to look at my view counts on Sunday. I, knew, I know the channel's doing well because of power rankings. So if I separate that out with the power rankings for player power rankings on Monday, then Monday's kind of covered there as well, right? Uh, panic index is every second week on a Wednesday. I've gotten out of that habit. I need to get back into that habit. This is where I have to have the calendar set up for this coming year, right? Fridays, trying to figure out how to on Friday have a video that I think people are going to be engaging with, sharing, commenting on as we get into Saturday, because there, there definitely seems to be that huge drop on Saturday. So looking at maybe standings, statistics, 
maybe a No Mercy counter. I've thought about doing like No Mercy counters. Um, you know, the Tony the Tiger Magnet and everything. And we could do like a weekend review on Friday. And a preview for we think there could be No Mercy games in the upcoming weeks. So say, for instance, San Jose is about to play Vegas. You might say, all right, well, Vegas is likely to get a No Mercy over San Jose. And we have for the previews, of course, we have the... Uh, the giveaway at the end of the year for the person who predicts the most accurately, uh, where they get it, they get a nice THG sweatshirt out of it. So maybe we could have some sort of contest. Again, no money comes into me. No money comes into me. Absolutely not ever. Uh, but we could do something where maybe people predict. I think this will be a no mercy game. I think this will be a shutout. I think this is where this is like just something fun like that, right? And milestone watch. A lot of a lot of comments lately about guys playing a thousand games. Uh, guys getting their 400th goal, 300th goal, 200th point, yada, yada, yada. Um, I could do videos on, say, on Fridays where I say, here's the milestones that have been, been accomplished, and here's the ones that are potentially going to happen over the coming week, right? Um, so I, I think these are moves that would be relatively easy for me to throw together. It's just I haven't held myself to an actual schedule necessarily, and I, I do think that's something that would benefit Benefit me, probably benefit my stress level too. Um, and I mean, one of the reasons why you only get power rankings and I don't do a lot of opinion-based stuff is just the amount of nasty comments under power rankings. But I, I can't let that hold me back from doing other videos like that. So player power rankings, I'm sure people will get mad at me because my ranking of where defenseman is may not be where they think he belongs. But I'll, I'll have statistic requirements for that as well. Uh, with teams, there's sort of the whole vibe thing with where they are in power rankings. Where and because again, this time of year, you look at the standings, you look at recent records, you look at how teams are playing, teams that lose games maybe they should have won, and vice versa. Uh, but player power rankings, it feels like there has to be something more concrete there. So um, I, I would be putting that together Sunday night and then release it on Monday. Um, but again, Monday. I might be able to do it even on Monday night. The The difference between the power rankings on Saturday and player rankings is power rankings on Saturday, I update them right before that video. So the, the power rankings measure from Sunday to Saturday. The player rankings kind of can't because um, if if it's Monday night, I'd have to go through and, and make sure I got all the stats. Sometimes the stats aren't, aren't necessarily updated and it depends on what stats I'm using to decide where a player is, right? So we'll see how it all goes, but I, I do think this is a schedule that can work. So again, the, the pink numbers here are for how many games there are each day. Saturday's busy every week, of course. 11, 15, 11, 13 games, and it's it's during the day. All day during Saturdays are hockey, uh, all four of those Saturdays. So again, you know, Saturday numbers are, are low. Um, I may test some of this before we go live with it, and... Uh, yeah, and then I'll, then I'll then I'll just go for it, because again, uh, it, it is about trying to to make sure that there's content up there people want to click on. That people are like, hey, this this is kind of fun and new and different, and making sure that it stays true to the content that came before it as well, so it doesn't feel completely different and strange. Uh, again, I've been trying to add different kinds of magnets to the board for different different reviews, and having fun with it. Um, I think once I added the the Tony the Tiger and the No Mercy, I was like, you know what, this is this is good. This is a little different. Um, and again, it's not something that that there's there's an objective point to. It's just there's a certain goal differential or a certain score, and those magnets go up. Um, and that will probably be the case next year as well. But I I just wanted to let people know I'm I'm considering making these changes. I'd be interested to know uh, the thoughts of those watching on those changes. Uh, and news videos won't be affected. Obviously, trades, anything like that videos would still be done exactly the same and uh, so yeah we'll see how it all goes from there uh, there may end up being a change to, to thumbnails at some point the funny thing is because I see people saying oh thumbnails you got to change your thumbnails I've tried and and I've had times where I've done my thumbnails like custom and people are like I didn't click on this because I didn't think it was your video or I'll put text on a on, on a thumbnail and people are like why is there text that's stupid and it's like okay so I'll just leave it as is, but uh, yeah, there will be some changes, and there may be changes to the thumbnails as well. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you guys so much for for being part of the channel's growth. Uh, over three hundred and nine thousand subscribers—that's a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I I look forward to to making these changes and 
and seeing how everything goes. But I'm not I'm not going to stop doing power rankings. I'm not going to stop being tired on Saturday. It's just if I have videos on the Friday that I know are going to be going to be good, going to get views on the Saturday, that's better as well. Like even if I did player power rankings on Friday and then did the regular power rankings on Saturday, I mean that would really beef up the views here, but again, um, Monday I would definitely have time to do other things as well because there's not a whole lot of games on Monday or Friday, Wednesday. That's where there has to be those, I think the anchor videos work better there because there's a lot less for me to keep track of. And one thing I wanted to mention as well, matinee games. So talking about how it's hockey all day on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, I, I think condensed matinee reviews make a lot of sense. So let's say on a Saturday they have two matinee games. They don't really mean a lot in the standings. Let's say it's it's Columbus and San Jose, and they're both 40 points out of the playoffs. I think I could condense that. I could do other videos that day. Uh, watch parts of the game here and there. I, I don't think it would be criminal for me to, uh, to do a condensed review of the matinee game and include it with the news video before we hit the 4 o'clock start where most of the Saturday games start. And then that would help. Uh, with the channel on Saturday too. You guys would have actual videos to click on and it could be kind of fun. So let me know your thoughts and on Sunday I could do that as well where I condense the the matinee videos. Matinee games anyways. It, it is interesting that Sunday is the one day I don't have anything in there but usually by the time uh, the power rankings are done and um, I'm, in, I'm in bed and I'm, I'm up on Sunday to, to watch matinee again if I can condense the matinee reviews that might help as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see how it all goes. Again, this is for next season. This is not changing for this season, but I, I, I think this could work. And I don't know, maybe I'll have a have a rule that for you know X amount of people being angry about the, the power rankings, I create a brand new ranking system, a ranking video. Like when I do the videos ranking forwards, defensemen, goaltenders during the off season, those are some of my most popular videos. They will also usually get a lot of hate and people get really angry, but they usually do really, really well. So I, I think it's important for me to do the videos that are going to do really, really well. And the hate's going to be there anyways, right? So why not make content that people are more likely to engage with and just tune out some of the more negative voices amongst them and, and go from there? Because the channel should be enjoyable for you people to watch, as well as for me to create the content. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.